The campus of Oakland University is alive with pride tonight. The Golden Grizzlies are headed to the NCAA tournament. It will be just the fourth time ever that the men's basketball team has gone to the big dance. Now this is a big deal for Oakland fans, students and alumni tonight, and we want to amplify their voices. So we sent seven action news reporter Faraz Javid to campus where the excitement is spreading fast. It's all about the Golden Grizzlies as the team heads to the NCAA tournament first time since 2011. So I'm here at Oakland University on campus to hear all the fan reactions and emotions. Giovanni, I got a big question for you. Yep. When you look at this, what do you see? I see me. The Golden Grizzlies are part of my identity and to see them now on the national stage, it's, it's everything to me. That's my home right there. So your Golden Grizzly is older than my Golden Grizzly? It might be. Okay. It might be. But the love and passion should be the same, right? That's where I was going to go. How old is your spirit? <laughs> Students Giovanni Musheri, Callie Cassette, and James Mitchell attended last night's game in Indiana, where Oakland beat Milwaukee 83-76. And the Oakland Golden Grizzlies, for the first time in 10 years, will represent the Horizon League in the NCAA tournament. What was that moment like? I swear, I probably blacked out at some point. There's just so much emotion, so much excitement going on. So much hard work and effort through the course of the season. It all paid off and it just made me proud and felt like I kind of won it with them. There's been a bit of a lack of a sports environment here on campus, especially since COVID. And to, to have our biggest team, our biggest ticket item to be on the biggest stage in sports here, at least here in the country, it's, it's everything. Chanting back and forth with each other, our band getting us pumped out. Gria's coming and dancing in the crowd. They had a little mascot dance off. Tell me you were crying last night. I, I came close, but honestly, I was out of breath being in the stands, jumping up and down. I was, uh, I felt just as tired as the players. And speaking of the players, here are some of OU's basketball stars, Trey Townsend and Blake Lampman. I mean, it, we got back at four, but I don't think I went to bed till like after six because I still had adrenaline from the game, the whole celebration, but it was such a special night and I was happy I got to share it with these guys. Yeah, no doubt. We had a great, great supporting staff and we had a whole band there and it was just a it was a great moment for Oakland University. I'm 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 excited. I still I don't believe it's real still. Now the Sunday night watch party is gonna take place at the arena at five PM. That's where you're gonna find all the golden grizzlies yelling, Go black, go gold. From Oakland University, I'm Faraz Javid, Seven Action News. I see the people I know go, oh, you, <laughs> you know, when they're celebrating. How about that, though? Another winning team in our area. So all these basketball legends, uh, Greg Campy is now the longest tenured coach at one school, his 40th season, and they get to make wow. program history. So just you talk about voices around college basketball today, coaches screaming their praise and celebration for that man. And there's a lot more on Trey Townsend coming up. Gina Trotman talked with Campy today. We'll have that in sports. So happy for him. Happy Fantastic. for us, too, with this right weather. Right there in the backyard. Yeah.